Let's spin the wheel. The first subject is journalism. Who has given that? Claire. I always wanted to be a journalist, even when I was a kid, even when I was on my gap year, backpacking around Surrey. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the day I told my family I wanted to be a newsreader. I was at my nan's leaving drinks, uh, which sounds a lot nicer than wake, doesn't it? And, uh... <laughs> bad because I never really got to know her and I never really got to know my granddad because he died decades before I was born after a difficult six-year battle with Germany. <laughs> I remember my grandmother told me just before she died, she said, Glenn, it doesn't matter what you achieve in life. Doesn't matter what you achieve. As long as by the end of your life you're happy and you can afford your own bed, that's all you need. That's the last thing she told me on her death chair. <laughs> I used to love being a newsreader. Before that, I was a roving reporter, and it was great fun. I got to travel the world, got to learn new languages. Before that, I couldn't really speak any other languages. I could speak some French. I could say, like, uh, hi, my name is Glenn. I would like two baguettes, please, but apparently that's still English. <laughs> <laughs> Once I even got to be a red carpet reporter, I got to stand on the red carpet for the National VoiceOver Awards. It was amazing. I got to interview the guy that had just won the award for best work in disguising a victim's voice on Crime Watch. And I remember saying to him, you must be so delighted for your award. And he said, well, there's just so many people I'd like to thank. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, that's good.